to our channel. Um, so today we're taking a, a little bit of a different approach and the approach that we're going to have is there's going to be a bunch of different videos um, coming out which are going to talk about our challenges as a big family. Now today's video is going to talk about chores because all of my friends come to me and ask me all the time how do you manage six kids and their chores and I'm going to show that to you guys. But before I get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Um, hit that like button and comment down below any challenges that you guys want to see us tackle or ones that we have tackled as a big family for recommendations. So let's get started. Everything that I'm going to talk about, except for a few things, and I'll explain which ones I'm not going to link, I will link everything down below in the comments section so that you guys can find all of it because a lot of these I found just by doing searches. I'm a big Pinterest addict. I have Pinterest on my phone. I'm constantly on Pinterest because I need things like recipes for big families. I need organization tips. I need all of that because we are a huge family. There are six kids and two adults. We constantly have extracurriculars. We're constantly doing things. So we need to keep ourselves organized. So today's video is going to talk about chores. Now I found this on Pinterest and I really loved it so I decided to incorporate it into our family. So the first thing is the way that this works is it's a ticket system for getting kids to do chores. Now there are rewards that they build these tickets up to and I will show you guys all the reward systems and everything like that. So the first page is this. So essentially what this page talks about, they get certain amount of rewards based on the tasks that they're assigned to do. And these are everyday things that kind of gives them reminders on things to do, like make their bed, brush their teeth, pick up their toys, um, eat every bite of their meal because as our kids, the way that they are, they don't always like to eat everything. They like to eat some of it and then they want to go do something else because they think that's more fun than eating. Some of our kids love to eat and they don't stop, but some of them do do that. Um, there's also get ready for bed and go to sleep and each task has a certain amount of tickets awarded to it. So there's brush your teeth, which is like three tickets and they could get six tickets in a day because they could brush their teeth before school and, and before bed. Um, there's completely clean room, which is four tickets and that's a huge struggle with us because our kids don't all have their own rooms because I don't have a house big enough for that. So we have three girls in one bedroom. We have one girl in her own room because she's um, almost 12 years old. So we felt as if she needs her own space. As well as we have the two boys together in their own room. Each room has bunk beds and except for Grace's room. And then the one with the three beds has a bunk bed and a single bed. So this is a huge thing for them to have to have their rooms clean because as there's a lot of kids in there They constantly need to keep it organized. So that's really important for this as well Then there's also ways that they could get extra tickets as well. So I'll just show you guys And there's also on here as well. There's consequences So some of these things are so like having obeying the first time which is four tickets now this is a struggle because we constantly are like hey can you go do this and they pretend to have earmuffs on their ears and they don't listen to us so we have to stay a second time so automatically they don't get the tickets for that um some of these we don't do like cleaning the litter box and vacuuming because we used to have carpets in here but we don't anymore um, doing the dishes is a big one that we try to get them to do because there is six kids, two adults, we constantly have a lot of dishes in our house. As well as um, good manners, we try to really instill, instill good manners in our children because I don't like rude kids. You need to see your plays and thank yous, you need to be respectful to your elders and people who are older than you. There's also 30 minutes of extra math or reading. Um, this is really important because Kids need to read. They need to practice reading so that they can go further. I'm just going to take a quick coffee break. Today's cup is don't get your tinsel in a tangle and it's perfect for this holiday season. I should mention the consequences. The qu there's ones for um, sneaking, which is minus four tickets. 
There's ignoring or disobeying parents, which is minus four tickets. Screaming or yelling, which is minus one. Bad sport, which is minus one. This is a big issue with our kids because of the fact that they like to play online games. So they play Roblox and they also play Among Us. And they get upset if they don't are like if they don't become the, the imposter on Among Us. I don't know. I've never played the game. Matt has. I haven't. I, I don't really know much about it. But there's also consequences on here for them um, not listening. As well as at the end of it, there's being destructive slash huge mess, which they go bankrupt. They lose all their tickets. And most kids don't want to lose all their tickets. So to keep track of the tickets, I didn't want to have physical tickets because we would have to have different jars and there would be so many tickets and it was just, it would be pointless. So what I did was I made my own page. So this is the tickets page and it has each of their names. And this is how I record their tickets on the daily. Um, we record their tickets on here every day. Pretty simple. Now there is a rewards chart. So this is the rewards chart. Now, a lot of these, um, they actually really want to work towards. So there's staying up an extra hour later than everybody else. That's a great thing for kids and you need 100 tickets to get to that. Um, there's also, there's one in here that says Xbox game and it says $10 for every 100 tickets. We made a deal with our kids that we're not going to do the Xbox game part. What we're going to, what we do is they want roblox cards because roblox cards is a big thing for our kids and so we did it so that if they want a 15 dollars roblox card they need 150 tickets now you can combine your tickets with other kids and then like so for instance if they want to stay up an extra hour later well eat two of those kids can combine them and 50 tickets each pretty self-explanatory now how i stay organized like that's all for the kids and then like yeah but so how i stay organized is i made myself a chore chart because i like chore charts and i like to know what i need to do every day because lists are important when you have a big family so this is my chore chart that i made and then this here so on these so the monthly ones there's a spot to write last done so there's like clean inside of drawers and then clean inside of the oven clean furniture vacuum window screens go through kids clothes and get rid of stained ripped and small clothing so our kids are constantly going through clothes they they rip them all the time like the boys always get rips in their knees so do the girls for some reason as well as um they stain them all the time and it drives me nuts and i have special stain sticks that i try to use to try to get the stains out if it doesn't work then i get rid of the clothes so yeah now i'm going to show you guys so all of these are laminated so that i can write on them now i did pick up something really cool at walmart this is my laminator i believe it was 25 dollars and i I love it. I absolutely love laminating things. I think it's so much fun because like it comes out this little sheet and then you like throw it through and it comes out super thick. I think it's cool. So yeah, I got this laminator and it's by Scotch. And then at Walmart as well, there is these thermal sheets. So these thermal sheets, these thermal sheets for 20 of them, I believe it was $10. I will find all of these things on the Walmart website for you guys and I will link them down below so that you can go look it up. Now I'm just going to give everyone a FYI. The things that I'm linking are Canadian because we're Canadian and I can try to find it on the American site if you guys want to. Um, but I'm pretty sure that you just type in laminator, you'll be able to find it. Um, but I will link where I got the chore charts and the rewards charts on um, in the description for you guys. So you can go check them out on Pinterest. Um, so that's that. That's how we keep our family organized. And where it goes, as you guys can see, there is a Bristol board behind me. I got that Bristol board at the dollar store for $4.00. And I just like thumbtack them all up there so that they all stay in one place. 
most dollar stores like our we have Dollarama here and they sell like a variety of things like it's it's crazy some of the things that you can find there so that's where I got that and that's where I place everything and this is the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope these tips help if you want to see anything else if there are any other big challenges you want to know about make sure you hit comment down below and i'm going to say it again hit that subscribe button and follow us for our adventures as a family of eight called the eight little monsters bye